what's up everybody? Uh, my name is Lawrence Scott, also known as Coach Losco, and I am a speaker, trainer, and a coach in the areas of leadership and personal growth. I also have the opportunity to serve as the Director of Player Development for the Army football team, which is an absolute blast working with those young men. And I'm so excited, humbled, and prepared to share with you all here on Faith on Friday. It is a series that I absolutely love, support, and I have been truly blessed by it, as I know you have as well. So I'm honored to share the topic of leadership through teamwork with you guys today. And anytime you have one person in a room, they will have enough trouble battling with themselves. But you put 12 people in a room to make a decision, that's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So how, with our complexities as human beings, can we all work together on a team in order to make it work. We often say that teamwork makes the dream work, but what makes teamwork work? There are plenty of things that aid in making teamwork work, but there are two things that I wanna share with you guys today. The first thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is connection. We can all communicate, but do we really truly connect? You see, connection is what takes communication to the next level. It's going beyond saying, hi, how are you, and then moving on. It's staying and waiting for an answer. It's going beyond sending a card on their birthday. It's actually seeing how their life is at home. There are so many ways that you can connect, and we often think that it takes a long time to connect with people, but it doesn't. It takes an intentional, focused period of time that you sit down and get in their world. That's connection. Now, I used to be an army officer and there are plenty of things that I got wrong, but there's this one day that I feel like I got this right. I stood in front of our platoon one day and I asked all of my leaders to know every single person's first and last name and where they're from. So they all said to me, sir, that's easy. We can do that, no problem. So I said, okay, you have two weeks. In that time, I met with all of our team members. I sat down with them. We had a conversation about where they grew up, where they're from, their families. It really was an enjoyable time for me. But in that two weeks time, they were all to do the same thing. So two weeks had passed and I stood there in front of our formation. And I asked some of my senior leaders to start naming some people in the platoon. Hey, what's his name? Oh, sir, that's Specialist Brown. What's Specialist Brown's first name? couldn't tell me. Well, where's Specialist Brown from? They couldn't tell me. And I proceeded to name everybody in the platoon. And sure, uh, I showed off a little bit. I was really proud of the fact that I knew them all. But that wasn't the day that I felt that I got it right. A couple weeks had passed and there was one gentleman in our team that had been having some disciplinary issues. He was showing up late to work. Uh, he was having some issues with some of the other people in the platoon, having a little bit of an attitude, but nobody really knew what was going on. So I, I took him aside and I asked him, hey, what's up? That moment, he broke down. And he shared with me that he just had a child with his wife who lived back in Atlanta. And her car had broken down and they didn't have money to fix it. So he drove from El Paso, Texas to Atlanta, Georgia to drop his car off with his wife and see his newborn child. Didn't have enough money to fly home, but he had enough to drive to Atlanta and fly back to El Paso, Texas. No one knew that he had just had a child. No one knew that he was having some issues. So he says to me, sir, the coolest thing that I've ever seen is you standing in front of that platoon and naming each of our first and last names. I know that you care about us. That was the moment that I felt that I got it right. Connection is so important and it takes your communication to the next level. The second thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is why. Not why teamwork, but why are you all there? What's the point? What's the purpose? A lot of times we can put a group of people in a room and ask them to figure out an issue, but we don't always know why 
we're trying to figure that issue out. We don't always know the end goal. What's the point? Why are we even here? In order for us to develop teams that work, we need to have a common purpose. We need to have a common goal. We need to have a common why. If everybody in the room is on the same page as to why we, ex why we exist as a team, why we are even here in the first place, it gives you a certain persistence and a certain strength that goes beyond the obstacles, beyond the disagreements, and there will be some. It goes beyond all of that because you know why you're there. If you have a common goal, a common purpose, and a common why, you're well on your way. But you add true connection within a team where you guys are more than a team, you're a family, you are well on your way to becoming an unstoppable team. That's what I wanna share with you guys. So to recap, if you want to make your team work, you need to connect. There has to be a culture of connection on your team. You guys need to be in each other's business. You guys need to be a family. And beyond that, that family needs to know why it exists. You need to have a common purpose, a common goal. And once you can define your common goal, what that'll enable you to do is to remove and add people who either don't fit with that common purpose or people who do fit with that common purpose. You'll have the right people on your team. That's what defining your why does for you. It puts you in a position where you know who needs to be on the boat and who needs to stay on the shore because you got places to be. Thank you for sharing this time with me and thank you so much to Ricky Smith for allowing me to share with Faith on Friday. My name is Lawrence Scott, also known as Coach Losco, and you can find me on IG, on Instagram, at Real Lawrence Scott. You can also find me on Facebook, Lawrence Losco Scott, or L-O-S-C-O Scott. Or if you just YouTube Losco TV, L-O-S-C-O TV, you can find me on there. I am more than happy to connect with you. You can go to my website at lawrencerscott.com. You can find information on me there. You can connect with me through that website as well. I would love to hear from you if this video blesses you. If you feel like this is what your team needs to hear, share this with them.